Now, there's a very important race going on in Ohio's 11th district, that's Cleveland. It's Nina Turner, progressive hero versus Chantel Brown, corporate hero. Uh, Chantel Brown has had gotten uh, millions of dollars in donations in the last race and this race. Her number one donors, it just happens to be it's different in each race. But in this case, it is uh, pro-Israel PACs. They are literally classified as that. Uh, the largest one is called Democratic Majority for Israel. But it's also funded by uh, oil executives, okay? Uh, she's also taking money from drug companies. So it is, I mean, corporate Democrat corruption 101. So Rebellion PAC, a PAC that I formed, decided to fight back, okay? And we made a series of ads. Now, here comes the fun part. We're asking you guys to participate. I, I'm so curious which one you guys think are, is the best. We made five different ads. They're airing right now in Cleveland. You could help air them, by the way, at helptherebellion.com. You go to helptherebellion.com. Every dollar helps us reach a new voter. And this is gonna be a super tight race. And this is the an epic rematch. So uh, we're gonna show you the five right now and ask you to vote at tyt.com slash polls. Let's start with Frederick Douglass. Nina Turner said we should fight for our $15 minimum wage, Medicare for all, and voting rights. But Chantel Brown said we should not fight, we should be civil toward Joe Manchin, Kristen Sinema, and other opponents of the Democratic agenda. She preferred civility to getting anything done. You're right, that's a terrible idea. Frederick Douglass said, power never concedes without a demand. Send Nina Turner to demand higher wages, universal health care, and voting rights. This time, instead of someone looking out for themselves, let's pick someone who is looking out for us. Send Nina in to demand justice and fight for Cleveland. All right, so that's choice A. It's called Frederick Douglass on the website, tyt.com slash polls. Uh, now, it's choice B, Charlemagne. Charlemagne the God is frustrated by politicians, except for one amazing woman. Here's what Charlemagne said about her on The Breakfast Club. I'm going to donate right now. I don't know why I just don't set up the monthly thing and let well, them do I think it. You, you've been supportive <laughs> of me. You really have. I feel very much a part of this family. I love you guys. Who is that? Good news, that's Nina Turner, and she's running right here in Cleveland. Did you know 47% of black folks make less than $15 an hour? Nina is the champion of a $15 minimum wage. She's not going to stop until we raise everyone's wages. Cricket politicians keep telling you why you should not get paid more. Send Nina to Congress to fight for us and get us the raise we all deserve. She is the only one who's earned our trust. Vote for Nina Turner on May 3rd. By the way, there's also 30 second versions of this running on TV and radio as we speak. Uh, now let's go to dark money. Okay, you had a feeling the rich and powerful are rigging the system. Guess what? You were right. Chantel Brown said she would support President Biden's agenda, but as soon as she won, she fought against Biden. Why? Because a group called Democratic Majority for Israel gave $2 million to get her elected. They didn't give her all that money for nothing. They don't want Biden's Iran deal. So Chantel fought against the president instead of for him. She took the $2 million and sold you out. Was it worth it, Chantel? Nina Turner won't work for the rich and powerful, she'll work for us. Vote for Nina Turner on May 3rd, so you can finally have someone fighting for you. By the way, if you live in Cleveland, make sure you're voting, make sure your family and friends are voting. Yeah. But also vote on the poll, because here comes uh, option number D, up number D, that's hilarious. <laughs> no. What does Chantel Brown do to get $15 minimum wage passed? Absolutely nothing. Did it pass? Nope. What did Chantel Brown do to get Medicare for all passed? Absolutely nothing. Did it pass? Nope. What did Chantel Brown do to get voting rights passed? You guessed it. Absolutely nothing. Did it pass? Nope. This time, send in Nina Turner to fight for us. Okay, and finally, choice E. Remember, helptherebellion.com. Every one of these ads goes to Cleveland. We're gonna run some of these ads three times in Cleveland. If we can get you guys to match, uh, there's only $15,000 left to match. I put in 25K, former head of Justice Democrats, Shortcut Chakrabarty put in 25K. Dang. Head of Rebellion Pack put in, Brianna Wu, total hero, put in 10K. Okay, uh, so we're the exact opposite of the right wing. We're actually, we got everything in this. For us, that is everything we got. So here's Choice E. 
Nina Turner is trying to double your wages. Other politicians say, that's not possible. Nina says, get out of the way. Wouldn't it be amazing if your representative actually fought for you? Send Nina Turner to Congress to double your wages. It's definitely possible if you fight for it. Send Nina Turner to Congress on May 3rd so she can get you higher wages. Okay, so I open it up to you guys, tyt.com slash polls. Intensely curious what you guys think, that's your five options. I open it up to John and Francesca as well. Franny, <laughs> let me start with you. I mean, I read Jane Mayer's Dark Money uh, as like a summer book. <laughs> so I think you know which one I like. I love me some Dark Money stuff. Anything with the, the Friends of Israel pack and the fact that like, they don't want the Iran deal, which is true. And that was like Biden and Obama's signature piece of legislation. That one got me. Mm -hmm. I like that one a lot. And I'm like, ooh, dark money, outside money versus, yeah, I need a turn. So, mm. yeah, definitely on a C. That's C. All right. See, I probably could have guessed that that's one you would have picked. <laughs> I just question whether that hits as hard for as many voters as some of the issues that are focused on the other ads. I like the Charlemagne one, mostly the latter half where they're talking specifically about wage increases, but. I like to keep it simple, so I'm gonna go with nope. It's a couple of strong, indisputable points about issues that Chantel Brown has been put in that position, specifically not to fight for, and they're pointing that out. I found that to be very strong. I like the pattern of it too. Yeah. Okay, all right, wonderful. I don't know, <laughs> I'm not <laughs> sure, that's why I'm asking. The okay. fence setter right. twos. But I'll tell you the Charlemagne one, there's another reason for it. Because remember, the. Millions of dollars she's getting, she's turning into ads, right? So we're fighting back. To, we're going to spend a couple hundred thousand dollars. Rebellion pack is okay, and a lot of that is you guys. So you're the cavalry here, fighting against a much larger force. They have completely deceptive ads, absolutely swamping Cleveland. Mm. So people don't know what to believe mm -hmm. because of all of the ads. We have facts; they they have the opposite of facts. That's why you put Charlemagne the God in the ad, saying I'd even donate money. To Nina Turner, I want to do it monthly, so people go. Well, I know him and I trust them. Whereas the other ads, I don't know. I don't know who's telling right. the truth and who's lying, mm -hmm. right? So that's one of the reasons. But I don't want to bias you guys. I love every single one of those ads. I love that we put Frederick Douglass in a in a political ad. Mm -hmm. I think nope totally resonates. Mm -hmm. uh, double your wages. It's literally true in Ohio. It's minimum wage right now seven dollars and twenty five cents. She could get it to fifteen dollars an hour by just putting on political pressure on Biden and the other Democrats. And that would more than double the wages of many people in Cleveland. Uh, so there's just, I love them all. I can't wait to see what you guys think, tyt.com slash polls. And most importantly, helptherebellion.com because for every dollar you put in, that is another voter that we reach with the truth instead of the lies that they have. And we could win this race and if we do, my God, God every God. one of you that put in five bucks, 27 bucks, whatever you put in, you made all the difference if she wins. Mm -hmm. So let's go do this now. Yeah. Cavalry charge. And good job, Dr. Ritchie. Yeah, I know, right? Great narration there. You Wonderful. Obviously we had to put it together voice. in a hurry. We had this great <laughs> voice actor from the last time, but he was busy. We're like, Dr. Ritchie, you want, <laughs> <laughs> you want to help? And he's like, Did you say cavalry charge? I'm in. <laughs> By the way, Dr. Ritchie also put in money to need a turn. Nice. So everybody's on board. This is what real progressives look like. We're a family, we stick together. We don't care about Washington and optics and what people think and say, etc. We just actually fight for one another and we win. Thanks for watching The Young Turks, I really appreciate it. Another way to show support is through YouTube memberships. You'll get to interact with us more. There's live chat emojis, badges. You've got emojis of me, Anna, John, JR. So those are super fun. But you also get playback of our exclusive member only shows and specials right after they air. So all of that, all you gotta do is click that join button right underneath the video. Thank you.